that's everything what we did yesterday. Yesterday afternoon was really good. We succeeded to, to pass some really important key points of our partnership and uh, I'm very happy for that. And here, for the ones who want maybe to, uh, to say a little bit more about our core project that we have covered, so we will have two training courses and two youth exchanges. Uh, let's just have a very, very, very short <coughs> summary, and I would like the coordinators to take their pieces in front of them. Uh, we need to increase the awareness of uh, mental, mental health situations of young people uh, which are, who are aged between the 13 and the 30. Mm -hmm. So uh, we think that as a group, um, uh, young people face uh, with uh, many pressure. Uh, they feel themselves al alone, and sometimes uh, they have some mental health problems. So for a number of issues, for example, to study, to work, and to do things, etc. And uh, we uh, determined three uh, different um, uh, objectives. Uh, first one is to solve uh, the problem of loneliness, and the second one is to solve the uh, actually the decrease the pressure over them and the third one is uh, to prevent the overuse of the technology. So uh, it will be a training course and we, we will include the six countries and we, uh, we plan to uh, do this uh, training, uh, training uh, work uh, in Portugal. So uh, our uh, name of the project is the Rested Youth and our motto is the Temple of Mental Health and What's the name? Um, rest is good. Rest is good. Yes. <coughs> so, uh, we, we plan uh, for each objective, uh, we plan three different activities. And uh, actually, for one of them, uh, we have four different activities. So, uh, we will, uh, to solve the problem of loneliness, uh, we uh, want to organize some traditional intercultural events during the day and we will include some sport activities and we will also uh, organize some board games uh, to make them uh, to to make them to feel uh, a member to feel uh, as a member of the community so to decrease the pressure uh, over them uh, we will organize some workshops uh, we will uh, make a guide discovery and we plan some cultural visits um, and the, we will show some videos uh, to make uh, them smile and uh, to, so, uh, to solve the problem of uh, overuse of technology mm -hmm. uh, we will organize human, lab human library uh, we will make uh, some competition and energizers and uh, I, we think that the photo voice is very important to uh, make socialize uh, uh, to socialize people actually so results uh, for the group we think that they will feel more relaxed and they will learn different kinds of methods and they will uh, socialize with each other they will meet with new people and uh, they will uh, uh, when they meet with new, new people they uh, they will expand their own networking and uh, they also will have uh, they will have they will increase their awareness and they will work uh, together, they will learn how to work together in different genders. So uh, for partners, uh, they will learn new methods and uh, networking. So they will get a project experience. Mm -hmm. So um, they will increase the credibility, their, their credibility in the eyes of the society because they will manage, uh, they will manage a, a project and they, they will also uh, probably will have more volunteers to join them. Uh, for the local community, of course, we will make some evaluations. Thank you very much. Ah. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, found out that uh, people are using uh, from 80 to 100 hours weekly in internet. Uh, it's too much, that's why we try to understand what we should do. And uh, our aim is to develop decrease the usage of the internet and uh, etc. Develop the, uh, digital literacy. So for this we have developed some uh, 
Okay, before that, I would say that uh, what countries we have involved. We have involved Armenia, Greece, Turkey, Malta, Portugal. Uh, the host is going to be Portugal. Uh, we're going to do it uh, in Kaya. Uh, it's going to be youth exchange uh, and activities. Um, activities are online scavenger hub, media analyst project, create digital persona, outdoor adventure activities, mindfulness and meditation, <coughs> escape from uh, challenges. Um, Case studies on online behavior, online call of playing scenario, create a net chat guide. And uh, should I say all the matter that it's going to be too long? No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So the problems we detect, the, um, the, there are um, market saturation, lack, lack of competencies of uh, youth, uh, and um, lack of education resources. So for that, we uh, start a training course uh, with a think tank between stakeholders, social media content uh, with the stakeholders and the community. Uh, theory, theoretical workshops and uh, non-formal education uh, uh, in the theme of employment, employability, and also uh, uh, creation, uh, creative workshops. That's it. What we wanted with this project is to liberalize uh, the sense of community in youth by enabling them and facilitating um, the creation of a youth space in the city or in the town, uh, done by them, maintained by them and used by them in order to boost the youth's involvement and uh, create a much more stable and strong sense of community among them. Basically, that's it. <coughs>